first dish I'm going to do for you today is going to be halibut and salted cucumber udon noodles in a namjim sauce. So to prepare the dish, what we do is we, we get the whole halibut in and we thinly slice, thinly slice the fillets to imitate udon noodles basically. Um, so that's just served raw, which are then tossed in a namjim sauce. So we take the cucumbers, we then slice them again to the same size as the halibut to imitate um, udon noodles and vacuum pack them in a chive oil, um, leave it to infuse for an hour, and drain that off. And then we make the uh, namjim sauce, which is that stuff as a ceviche, finish it with fish sauce, which is then used to dress the dish. Take pickled garlic uh, to add a bit of acidity to the dish, and then we finish it with borage leaves, and some more chive oil. To serve with the dish, we serve a cocktail, which we call a viet salad. And there you have halibut udon noodles, solid cucumber, borage, pickled garlic, and namjim. And to go alongside that, you have um, a cocktail of a viet salad. The next dish, you have a char siu octopus hot dog with a Chinese bacon butty. We start off with the, with the bun, which is a squid ink hot dog bun. We make that from a bao bun recipe. That's basically a steamed bun. And then take the octopus, then steam it uh, for three hours, portion it, marinate it in a char siu sauce, heat it up in the water bath. We've also got a char siu bunion relish. Uh, so on the plate, you have the squid ink hot dog bun. In there we put the char siu onion relish. And then we have the char siu octopus. And then we finish, finish the dish with um, dots of mustard and mustard emulsion. And finally a charred spring onion. Um, next we'll do the Chinese bacon butty. So we start with a secreto, which is cut from the American pig. Um, we cure this a bacon with salt and sugar uh, for eight hours, which is then barbecued. To assemble it onto the, onto the bar buns, you have squeezed kimchi ketchup, the mayonnaise, barbecued secreto, crispy mushrooms, and then we just sandwich that all together. So it's like a sandwich. So there we have the chasu octopus hot dog, and alongside that, the Chinese bacon butty. So the next course, you have edible plum stone. It's based on plum sake, which is a Japanese drink of um, sake, which has been infused with plums and plum stones, which gives it a, a strong marzipan flavor. Um, so to re recreate that and put emphasis on the plum stones, which is something that normally has no value at all. Crack open the plum stones, infuse it into a cream, we then freeze this cream into a mold which we've made to imitate a plum stump and dip them into a cocoa butter and chocolate solution. We pull them out and because they're frozen, that sets on the outside. We then let this, we let the stones then defrost in the fridge. So you've got a hard shell on the outside and it's liquid in the middle. And to serve this, we serve this on a half frozen plum, which isn't to be eaten. Don't eat the plum. We use that basically as just a way of holding the stone and a way of eating it. So you pick up the plum and tip the stone into your mouth. And there you have um, edible plum stone based on plum sake.